Hey guys, Beardy and Kay here from Man Intelligence, and today we're talking about how to be more attractive. If you've ever wondered how to make a girl crazy for you, these tricks will work with 99.9% .9 of women. Guys, it's true. Have you ever seen a guy with a girl who's way more attractive than he is, and you're left scratching your head trying to figure out how he landed such a gorgeous partner? You tell yourself, oh, he's probably rich or something. But that's not the truth. The fact is, he's probably learned how to attract women using these tricks we're about to share with you. Now, fellas, if you've been working hard to raise your level of attraction but aren't getting any results, you're probably doing one thing that guys think make them more attractive but actually repulses most women. And at the end of this video, we're going to share that one epic fail you should avoid at all costs. Number 5. The Pull and Push So you're wondering how to be more attractive and get your crush to like you? Well, it all starts with what you're saying, and I don't mean with your mouth. Fellas, there are some tried and proven body language tricks to make her chase you, and I'm sure you've heard most of them before. Stand up straight and tall, point your feet towards the girl you're interested in, and square your shoulders. These are standard alpha male body language techniques that everyone knows. But here's what you may not know. After you've shown that you're strong and confident using your body language and have gained her interest, try this masterful alpha alpha technique to really set the hook. It's called the pull and push. It's kind of like a bait and switch, except for the last minute scam. It's the good kind of secret trick that the sexiest of sexy men use to gain control of any flirtatious situation. Here's how it works. So you're talking to a girl that you just met, and you're both anxious and there's a ton of tension. After a few conversational exchanges, hit her with a playful compliment, or if you're feeling really confident and brave, a sly sexual innuendo. Sexy flirting is tricky, but not always off limits if you can execute it well, which means playfully, in the right setting, and without coming off as creepy. If you're not confident using sexual innuendo, keep it PG-13 with a playful compliment. And then here's the critical part. Simply drop the mic and walk away. Now, here's the other super important piece to executing this perfectly. You have to casually walk away to a place where she can follow, because the main goal is to get her to follow you, and now you have her chasing you instead of the other way around. So don't walk away to the men's bathroom or to your intimidating group of guy friends. Instead, head somewhere neutral like the bar counter or a cocktail table and stay approachable. The trick is to leave her slightly confused, but with the door wide open so she can easily approach you. Number 4. Dress to impress and spark conversation Now, the worst case scenario is that she doesn't follow your lead right away. Guys, that's perfectly okay, because the alternative outcome is that she's going back to her friends slightly confused and amused by your behavior. While you keep yourself close by, open, available, and very approachable, she's going to run giggling back to her friends with excitement about the mysterious guy that sort of hit on me but then just walked away. OMG, I'm so confused right now. And her friends are going to ask, OMG, what guy? And she's going to say, That guy right over there wearing the... And guys, that's why this next part is so undeniably critical. The next words out of her mouth should not be, The sort of homeless looking guy over there in the hooded sweatshirt. Instead, you want her to be able to describe you in a more positive light. And that's why dressing well is a no-brainer. And if you're at all curious about how to look more attractive by dressing well, you got to start off on the right foot. And you can do that with today's sponsor, Thursday Boots. You've all heard us say it before, but ladies always look at a guy's shoes, right, Kay? Absolutely, Beardy. We want to make sure he doesn't half-ass things like his outfit. And that's why you need some quality footwear. Girls notice them. Luckily, Thursday boots will immediately make you 99.9% .9 more attractive to girls. How? Well, not only do Thursday boots look great, but they're very comfortable. They have amazing quality and they offer a wide variety of styles along with multiple color options. Thursday boots are handcrafted with the highest quality materials. It comes with a good year well construction and almost every component is custom made. Sure, Thursday boots sponsored this video, but we wouldn't include them if they didn't already know how great their boots are and how stylish they can make any guy look. Thursday Boots offers free shipping and returns on handcrafted Goodyear Weld boots made with premium USA leather starting at $149. You have to dress to impress, fellas. Click on the link in the description box to get yourself some Thursday Boots. Number 3. Be the nonchalant alpha Maybe you're not just asking yourself, 
how can I look more attractive? Instead, maybe you're wondering, how can I look more attractive than everyone else? Guys, this is one of the age-old tricks to get girls to chase you, and it will definitely help you maximize your attractiveness. And the most effective method that admittedly takes some practice to master is the nonchalant alpha. The nonchalant alpha male does all things alpha. He's a relentless doer, sort of a go-getter, he's confident, and most importantly, he couldn't give two shitbergs about what other people think about him. And fellas, that's the key. Yes, you have to work diligently to be your most attractive self, but trying too hard is painfully obvious and comes off as being desperate and needy. Being chronically indifferent is so effective at making girls nuts about you for a complicated mess of reasons. But the main reason is that everybody wants what they can't have, and everybody is mystically intrigued by that which they can't control. And fellas, that's why being a badass, nonchalant, couldn't care less alpha male is so damn irresistible. Oh, you know what else is irresistible? Secret manly knowledge proven to get girls to obsess over you. But the most comprehensive ancient Sanskrit level wisdom about the art of seduction is completely worthless if you don't understand the main reasons girls think you're unattractive. But hey, don't freak out, because I'm going to share some of that valuable information with you at the end of the video. So hang in there till the end to find out exactly what most guys are doing to turn 99.9% .9 of women away. Number two, get her done. Of all the super helpful tips for men to look attractive, this one is probably the most achievable. When we think of attractive men, we think tall, handsome, physically fit, symmetrical face features, and stuff like that. And while it's all true, the art of attraction goes well beyond those criteria. One of the things that alpha guys do that women cannot resist is that they seem to be very productive. They get shit done day after day. And here's why women find this so attractive. Being able to take on a task or a challenge and persevere shows that you know how to leverage your ass to accomplish a goal, an irrefutable sign of leadership, to crush your ability, to stay focused, to get her done is a surefire sign that you have potential to be not only a successful person, but a successful partner too. And that, fellas, is how you make a girl instantly like you. Number one, prioritize your passion. The best of all the tips to look more attractive has nothing to do with anyone but yourself. And because of that fact, you're in complete control of this one. Henri Frederic Amiel once wrote, without passion, man is a mere latent force and possibility. Without your passion, you're merely a complex biological meat puppet. But with your passion for something, nature and the outdoors, a sport, a cause, whatever it is, you immediately become bigger than yourself. And that is something your crush will not be able to ignore, something 99.9% .9 of girls find irresistible. It's what makes you unique and sets you apart from the rest. So if you're not sure what your passion is, or if you've simply been neglecting it lately, make sure you get it back on the front burner and make it a priority today. Don't bury yourself. Academic studies of attraction are numerous and the scope is extremely broad, but there is one piece of common ground that researchers consistently find regarding the law of attraction, and that is that even in the 21st century of online dating and social media, folks tend to become attracted to those they are around and interact with regularly, like schoolmates, teammates, or coworkers. One huge and all too common mistake alpha guys often make is to cut themselves off from opportunity. While they're out there in the world kicking ass and taking names, much lesser men are scooping up the single women simply because they're present. In pursuit of their passion and get shit doneness, they forget to take time off to put themselves out there. Which leads us to our last conclusion. The fastest way to drive women away is to be chronically preoccupied with your daily grind and ultimately unavailable. So remember to stop working so hard from time to time. It's important to pause and put yourself out there to create an opportunity for your crush to notice you. Or if you don't have a crush, then to go find one in the first place. Gentlemen, today we're showing you 12 purely instinctive, totally subconscious signs that a girl likes you. By this point, you know it's not always easy to know if a girl is actually interested. Is she playing games or is it for real? What could be chemistry-filled flirtation for one girl might only be basic, run-of-the-mill friendliness for another. And that's why today we're showing you 12 subconscious signs of attraction and the one painfully obvious sign that a girl is definitely not attracted to you. Number 12, she breaks from her besties. Hey, have you ever noticed how girls always start the night out by only dancing with each other? The reason for that is because they feel most comfortable with their closest friends, which in most cases is other girls. It's a law of nature. A girl and her group are hard to separate. Not only are they typically good friends, but they also act as kind of bodyguards for each other by keeping away any unwanted attention. So what are we getting at? Girls stick together, at least semi-subconsciously, out of a feeling of security. And what that means is that if a girl you're talking to separates herself from her squad, 
squad to hang out with you alone, you better believe she's interested. Because not only is she leaving the fun crew that she came in with, she's also showing her friends that she knows she's in good hands with you. And they don't have to worry. Number 11. The Fallen in the vast, vast majority of cases, body language isn't only non-verbal, it's also largely non-conscious, and most of the time it tells you everything you need to know. So what should you look for first? One of the biggest, most basic body language giveaways when it comes to attraction is to simply lean or fall in towards the other person. Think about it. Do girls fall in to get closer to guys they don't like? Probably not. So that means if she's physically leaning in your direction, even if it's from a considerable distance, she's probably feeling your vibe. Number 10. Answer seeking. Here's one thing to remember the next time you talk to a girl. Before you get a chance to say anything, that girl has automatically subconsciously created a story about you in her mind. But the only thing is, there are inevitably some parts from the story that are missing. Now, if she doesn't care about the missing parts, she'll move on and won't seem interested. But if she's intrigued, the only thing left to do is to get some of those questions answered. So if you're talking to a girl and she keeps trying to find out more about you, that's almost definitely because she's let her curiosity carry her away towards you. Number 9. Facial Exploration As you know, well over half of communication is completely nonverbal, and ground zero for that silent and subconscious communication is what happens through facial expressions. Just like a girl will always find a way to get her questions answered about you, she'll also be exploring your face to learn as much as she can. And the reason is simple. While your words say one thing, your facial expressions speak on a different level, and in many cases, a more truthful one. So if she seems focused on your eyes and mouth, and even your nose and cheeks, it's not because she's trying to make you worry about nose hairs or that spot you missed shaving this morning. It's just her instinctively trying to learn your mannerisms. You know, the little things she really likes about you and how you really feel. Number 8. She's a soft crowd. Here's a real age-old test of subconscious attraction. Next time you're with a girl, say something you know is actually kind of stupid. Not obviously stupid, but just a little, you know, low effort. If she laughs automatically, you know she's into you. You might have noticed this with other people. A girl laughing and smiling at a guy who really hasn't said anything all that funny. Well, here's the thing about making a girl laugh. Most of the time, what you say doesn't even need to be incredibly funny or even that original. Because nine times out of 10, here's what's really happening behind the scenes. When a girl laughs at something you say, it's almost always driven by the fact that she's subconsciously reinforcing the attraction that's already there. Basically, she already likes you and wants to laugh at the stuff you say to make sure she continues to like you. Now, as with everything in life, there are exceptions to the rule. But if she's easy to get a laugh out of, that's typically good news. Number 7. Stoke Mirroring Just about the only thing better than talking to a girl you like is to talk to a girl who's equally excited to talk to you. In the dating game, that's what's known as chemistry. And all chemistry begins and ends on a completely subconscious level. So how can you tell if a girl is excited to chat? Well, there are a few ways. If you text, she texts back pretty quickly. If you see each other in public, she doesn't hesitate to come up and say hi. And if you walk up to her, she makes a few adjustments to her posture, her hair, or her clothes. Excitement takes many forms, gentlemen. But if you sense that she's eager to talk or surprised by your attention, that's what you want to see. Number 6. Sensory Override Touch is one of those things that's driven by a pretty primal part of the brain. Before we ever even talk, we learn how to communicate through contact first. And not only do humans need to be touched, they also need to touch. So much so, in fact, that when our inhibitions are overridden by something like, say, strong attraction, we'll touch without even thinking about it. Now, in general, our society tends to be pretty touchy about touch. And for good reason, because even for girls, seemingly innocent touching can be risky. For the most part, girls are on high alert and totally aware about how they physically engage with others. Which is all to say that if a girl is touching you, it's because her natural desire to get closer is outweighing a pretty compelling need to be careful. Hey guys, if you like Mantelligence, keep watching because we've got five more signals that a girl subconsciously likes you. And at the end of this video, we're going to show you one hugely misunderstood signal that guys almost always miss. Alright, let's get going. Number 5. Mask Off For the same reasons why girls might hold off on touching a guy they like, she might also keep her facial expressions from giving away her attraction. Basically, women disguise their interest by kind of flattening out their expressions. Straight lips, neutral brow line, minimal movement all around. You know it when you see it. And it's part of the reason why some girls get the reputation of being a little cold sometimes. It's just how it is. So what does that mean for you? It means that if a girl is smiling, lifting her eyebrows, making eye contact, 
and essentially lifting up her facial expressions with the classic signs of unspoken interest, it's because she's determined that you're a good guy she can trust enough to let her guard down. Number four, the auto look. All right now, this one's a classic. While repeated and prolonged eye contact is obviously a great sign, there's one other well-known, totally subconscious giveaway that a girl's into you, and it is the laugh and look, or what we like to call the auto look. Here's how it works. The next time you're in a group with a girl, see if you can spot where she looks when something funny happens. If it's you who she's looking at, that's her instinctively choosing you to share that fun moment with. This is a body language phenomenon that's pretty well documented by psychologists. People in a group look to the person they feel most comfortable with, which makes this one one of the most valuable signs of interest there is. Wondering what other body language signs can tell you if a girl likes you? We did a whole video on that, and you can see it right here. Number three, the Waymaker. Have you ever wanted to talk to a girl but found that there were literally too many things stopping you from getting to her? Maybe you wanted to sit and talk to her, but her bag was in the chair. Or maybe you were totally planning on going up to say hi, but it was just too crowded. Well, girls actually interpret obstacles the same way you do. So if a girl likes you, she'll make things easy and remove any barriers between you and her. So if you find that you suddenly have a clear shot and it seems like she's been watching you too, it's because she probably has been and she's cleared the path for you to approach. Number two, she's actually weird. Guess what, guys? Girls do their best to make sure they're seen as normal by most of society. And if you ask any one of them, you'll find out it's pretty exhausting, and they love a guy that they can be their normal, weird selves around. Now, of course, not every girl is a total goofball, but most girls will eventually relax when they're around a guy they feel comfortable with. In fact, if you start spending time with a girl you like, you'll probably find out that she, hopefully in a good way, is a lot weirder than she lets on. And if that happens, you know for sure it's because she instinctively senses that she can be herself around you. Number one, she turns up your volume. Huh? What was that? If a girl is totally tuning you out when you're talking, unfortunately, that ship has likely sailed and you should probably move on. On the other hand, if she seems engaged, asks questions, and is eagerly invested in your every word, congratulations, you've successfully captivated her. And if you ask us, there's no better sign of subconscious attraction than if a girl just can't get bored with you and wants to hear more. All right, as promised, here it is. If there's one subconscious sign that a girl doesn't like you that often gets misinterpreted as playing hard to get, it's the lack of eye contact. Now we know, there's a lot of conflicting information out there on this one. Is eye contact good? Is it bad? Does it mean she's shy? Or does it mean she's not interested? Okay. Here's how you know. If a girl is simply not making eye contact, it's because she just doesn't register you. Duh, we know. Because she doesn't even know you're there. It's not that she dislikes you, but you just haven't been given the opportunity to make an impression yet. There's still a chance. However, if she does notice you, but doesn't look back at you again, you're unfortunately off her radar. No big deal though. Cut your losses and move on, because there's always another opportunity to make a lasting subconscious impression on a girl. That is exactly how to be more attractive to 99.9% .9 of girls, and the one thing to drive them away like a scared herd of buffalo. And guys, don't forget to visit our friends at thursdayboots.com slash MNTL for some seriously stylish kicks. Thanks for watching.